line or the or the skyscrapers or skyline's pretty pretty beautiful. Um, let's play E4 here. There's some nice malls nearby. Um, okay, I'm gonna get back to basics with the Scotch. This is the opening that I played growing up, as I've said many times. It creates very easy play with the knights and the bishops coming out really quickly here. And I think that's that's what beginners should aim for: so play in the center and bring out the knights and the bishops. Let's go knight c3. Guard my pawns here in the center of the board. And the main thing is just you bring the knights and the bishops out. You put pawns in the center and. I, I don't think it's actually that hard to, to have basic openings with either white or black that achieves this goal. Let's go bishop e3 to guard the pawn. Thanks so much to chess coach Craig for the uh, for six months as well. Thanks so much to chess coach Craig. There's bishop e7. Okay, let's play d5, attack the knight. Can I play Grunfeld openings? I could, but at the beginner level, I don't think anybody should play the Grunfeld. Yeah. Uh, imagine how Reddit would hate you if you did what Magnus did, since this Magnus is fine. Well, I mean, I would say there are a lot of things that Magnus has done um, that if anybody else did them, they would get excoriated for that. They would just, I mean, they would they would be in a lot of trouble. But because it's Magnus, a lot of it slides since he's the world champion. Um, I mean, I, okay, technically he's not right now, but still, you get the point. There's Queen C8 here. Um, I guess I'll just castle. Actually, I just wanted Bishop F3. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention. He could have taken here. I would have had a very bad king side. Um, so thank you so much to C uh C R Pariah for the Prime. Thank you, C R or C R Parish, sorry, for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Noterbeck is the oops, he hung the knight. The queen and the bishop connect. It's like the yo-yo. So, yeah, when we talk about juniors, by the way, because I never did answer that question, the juniors are in India. India and India and Uzbekistan. I mean, like, I know one of the Uzbekis, uh, Vokidov, lost yesterday to, I think, uh, uh, Prag Pragnanta's sister, Vaishali. But I would say, like, the, the Uzbekis are very, very good. You have Noterbek Abdusatorov. You have Noterbek Yakubov. You have Shamsuddin Vokidov. You have Javokir Sindarov, who I played yesterday. Um, the Uzbeki kids are really, really good. Really good. They're good, and so are the Indians. The Indian Indians and the Uzbekis, I would say. I don't know wh who, who's going to end up at the top when all is said and done, but both of them are so good. Yeah. India has hundreds of them, though, so better odds of breaking through. That is also true. Now, I guess I'll take with the queen here, just mainly because I want to try to do something here. I've got an extra horse, so with an extra horse, I want to open up this position as quickly as possible. Giri got destroyed yesterday. Actually, you know what? As far as Giri getting destroyed, uh, I realized like Anish and um, and Gukesh and all these guys, they should actually be mad at me because I'm the guy who's always playing all these kids online and giving them this experience and, and making them better players. So yesterday, Anish Giri lost to Rude Macarian, who um, who I played a lot online. Rude Macarian is his actual username on chess.com. And I played him a lot in like Title Tuesday and other things. Um, but then there are others like Buddy Pranav. Uh, another Indian junior who I think I've played Blitz against literally for the last five years. Um, Narianon, Indian lad. I've also played a lot of Blitz against him too. So, um, yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty pretty 